topic of this week's lab is geometrical optics. Uh, optics is the study of light, and specifically we'll be looking at how light interacts with lenses. Lenses are transparent material that are shaped so that they have a curve to them on both sides, so that when you look at it head on, they'll put images into focus and out of focus. These are very common things in many devices, uh, in glasses of course, in telescope, microscope, cameras, and also DVD drives and many other things. This is the equipment we'll be using. We have a lamp, a couple lenses, and a screen. Uh, you notice they're all specifically mounted so then they go right onto our meter sticks, which is really helpful because we can then just read off the various distances that we'll be needing um, from the meter stick very accurately. Uh, but first, we have to take them off these stands and try and find the focal length of each of these lenses. The first step to the lab is to find the focal length of both our lenses to characterize them. The focal length is defined to be the distance where the lens forms an image of something infinitely far away. Well, we can't get to infinity, so the next best thing is to stand on the far side of the room, away from the windows, and try and get an image of what's outside the window. So what you do is you put the screen right back against this back wall, and we move the lens back and forth until we get a clear image of what's outside the window on screen, right there, like that. You'll notice that there is a bit of a range at which it's um, still in focus, so we get kind of the size of this range to get our uncertainty as well. But there you go, that's the focal length of this lens. So now that we have our focal length of these uh, lenses characterized, we can use that to verify the thin lens equation. The thin lens equation is useful to figure out when we get a focus image of an object not infinitely far away. What we'll do is we'll fix the object distance, so we're not losing the, the lamp or the uh, lens, but we'll move the screen until we get a focused image of the lamp itself, which it actually is, looks like a, the filament of the lamp, just been a while. And once again, you have a little range as to where um, it is focused, so that will give you uncertainty. And then we can record down all the different positions, where the lamp is, where the lamp is, and where the screen is, so you can, through subtraction, get the object distance and the image distance. Uh, one thing not to screw up on is make sure when you set up the two meter sticks you have zero to a hundred and zero to a hundred like that so you don't confuse yourself when you record that in position but remember you do have to do that subtraction before putting it into um, your thin lens equation to see if it works. And after working on both of these lenses individually we combine them to make a very simple telescope. So to get the proper placement of the um, lenses for this telescope, the one thing we want to remove is actually our own eye, because our eye can adapt to a lot of different focal lengths. Um, so to remove that, you want to be able to focus both on something very far away and at the image in the telescope at the same time. And that way you can also compare if we're actually magnifying or shrinking. Um, so notice how right now we're focused on the brick wall. In the image itself, we should be able to focus and see what's in the brick wall as well. And you can tell if we're magnifying or not magnifying, but you can adjust the distance from here on to get the optimal distance. And I'm sure you guys will have more fun doing yourself in the lab itself, so we'll see you in the lab.